Well over 65% of Ontario's population has now received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. But health authorities say masks are still recommended. In this week's COVID-19 Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Vanita Dubé explains why we can't go mask-free just yet. Public Health Agency of Canada released some guidance last week, which did say that if you're fully vaccinated and you are outdoors, um, you know, the outdoors areas, uh, especially when you can keep a physical distance and even when you can't with other fully vaccinated individuals, masks can be taken off. And even indoors, the guidance also said if you're indoors with other people who are fully vaccinated, you can take a mask off. I think we have to realize that The mask adds another layer of protection. And if we're worried that the Delta variant is spreading, if we're with people who are unvaccinated, then that mask gives that additional uh, layer of protection. Now, the Delta variant was spread more easily than even our original COVID, but this Delta variant spread even more than the Alpha variant. And because of that, we actually need even higher vaccination rates. With the Alpha variant, we knew with one dose of the vaccine in Ontario, we were getting 70% protection. And so that second dose was getting us beyond 90%. But with this Delta variant, it's actually the two doses that we need. The first dose is maybe 30 to 50%. And then that second dose boosts us past 90%. We're actually seeing around the world in places like in the UK, in Israel. Now, they are ahead of us in vaccinations. We often use them as examples. And we're seeing where this Delta variant can then come and spread more easily, and especially among people who are unvaccinated. And so even a 70% vaccination rate, 75%, 80% vaccination rate, that still means 20%, 25% are unvaccinated. And we know that this virus will, uh, will then spread among those groups. So it's not quite as simple as all masks on, all masks off. It is very much dependent upon the situation that you're in and the vaccination status among the people that you're spending time with. For more from this Q&A and to submit your questions for our next one, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash COVID answers. To go directly to the page, point your phone camera to the code on the screen and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.